Hey guys, it's Adam, and welcome to my channel. Um, here's another episode about giant silk moths that I'm raising. I'm going to show you here what I have is my female polyphemus moth. So yesterday I was I was showing off my moths that hatched because I had so many that hatched at the same time. So I'm just going to tell you right now. Um, <laughs> I actually, if you remember, I said I had one... Uh, female polyphemus moth that was missing and that was the cocoon that I'd cut open to reveal the pupa inside and I revealed that it was a female and that I was waiting for it to emerge and she her cocoon was pretty or her pupa not her cocoon her cocoon's made out of silk but the pupa the actual little uh, chrysalis inside was pretty clear for a few days um they seem to take longer to emerge than butterflies, and I will keep that in mind so that I know that I can, I should exercise a little bit more patience, uh, I, so that I'm not, you know, sitting by the cocoon 24-7 for days and days and days, waiting for it to hatch, but, so she, or not hatch, emerge, I'm gonna use correct terms, emerge. So, anyways, so I, so I collected all the moths that were in my room, because I kinda, you know, just put the cocoons on a windowsill, um, and let them climb up the mesh, and emerged that way. That way they had more room. And all of the moths were just sitting, were sitting right there on the screen except for one, and it was the female polyphemus moth that I saw had emerged. So what I did was I decided to, um, what I decided, you know, after searching for her for a while, just to come back tomorrow and see if I could find her. And if not, she'd call in males with her pheromones and I'd be good to go. Um, I could just open it, I could just open the window all the way so that the screen was off at night when she was calling, um, just make sure I set my alarm early, and then a male moth could just fly into my room and I could just follow him to find her. Um, kind of a bizarre plan, but I feel like it would work. So I went up to my room, and as some of you viewers that know me, uh, or that know my channel pretty well, you know that my African Violet collection is in my bedroom. So... I decided, you know, I haven't been here for a few days. I should check on how my African violets are doing, especially this one. This was the one that had all the blooms on it. You know, a lot of the bloom stalks just kind of started to uh, dry up, and some of the leaves were a little bit spotted, and I've got to figure out why these spots are on here. But I'm going to just let it grow out and grow some foliage for a little bit. It should bloom again, you know, I'm assuming in about a month. I'm, I'm just going to estimate right now because I don't know for sure yet. Um, so I'm like, you know what, let me take a break from looking for her. And for this female polyphemus moth, because I do have to find her, they have a short life, and I have to let, release them pretty um, within a decent amount of time. And I decided to check on my African violet collection. Well, um, one of the hard parts about trying to find female poly or trying to find fe uh, polyphemus moths is they vary greatly in color. The same female can give birth to a wide range of colored polyphemus moths, ranging from kind of a cinnamony color like this to kind of a beige color to a tan to almost a chocolate brown. And those can all come from the same female. It's not entirely genetic what color they come, they come out. They just... They can't... Um, they, they are a little bit unpredictable what color that each individual one is going to be. Now, so I wasn't exactly sure what to look for or if her wings would be open or closed when I found her. Well, they were closed. They have opened now. But I checked on my African Violet collection and then since her wings were closed, she was camouflaged well because let me show you what I found. I found a pot this color that my African Violet's in, this kind of like beige terracotta colored with some kind of dark maroon red well, look at the underside of this female's wings, and she was, her wings were closed. She was hiding behind the pot. So I found where she went, and now I have her, and just take a look at how beautiful she is. Let's just take a look, let's just take a second to appreciate. She has got these beautiful clear windows on her wings right here, these transparent windows that you can see through. Nice and fuzzy. You can tell she's a female because she has very small very small slender antenna as opposed to the male that I have whose antenna looked too big for his head. He's kind he kind of looks dorky, but the cool thing about about those big antenna, they can smell they can smell the female's pheromones when they call. Hopefully tomorrow or the next day, pretty soon here I'll have a mate I'll have a mating pair, this one and my male. 
And hopefully by that point, the other two polyphemus moth cocoons will have emerged as well. So I'm going to try not to disturb her, and and I know the flash that's on my phone. Let me see if I can record without it. Oof. Yikes. I'm going to I'm gonna turn it back on just for a little bit while I talk, just because I want to I want to get a good video and a couple good pictures while I'm recording. But anyways, I want to see if she'll show them without me. Yeah, there we go. Look at those spots. Look at those beautiful blue eye spots. I'm going to take some pictures before wings slide back down again. I don't want to annoy her too much. Yeah, she's only she's only about 24 hours hatched, maybe a little more. Not hatched, emerged. I've got to get myself out of that habit. Um, 24 about 24 hours, give or take, maybe an hour or so, emerged. Um, so I want to make sure that she is mated and has laid some eggs for me before I let her go to lay the rest of her eggs. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead, head back to my, the other place where I live and do that and, um, you know, put her, put her in the cage with a male. Hopefully they will, they'll find each other suitable matches and I'll have a mating pair. So she's closing her wings now so that you guys can see what she looks like when she was resting and the reason why it was so hard for me to locate her. Here, let me take a picture real quick. She definitely is very, very, very pretty. Glad I found her quickly. So yeah, I will update you guys. I have... Another little update that I have for you guys, I'm just going to tell you guys this real quick and then I'm going to end the video. Uh, my Cecropia moths that, again, at the other house, um, the first mating pair that I saw this morning let go a couple hours ago. They they were, well, they, they started mating sometime in the night or the early morning, probably around 5 a.m., and they let go around... 3.45 to 4 p.m., I wasn't sure exactly, but sometime around then, 4.30 at the latest, but probably not that late. So they let go, and then as soon as they did, I thought, hmm, I want, I want my other female, Cecropia, to mate as well, just so that those two females that I get eggs from, because that way, not all of the Cecropias I have will be sisters because brothers and sisters maybe i'll have some that aren't direct siblings which would be good because then the gene pool has been widened a little bit and there won't be like genetic issues down the line if i do have to hand pair some of my uh reared moths so basically i decided to see if i could hand pair the male that had just mated with the first female if i could hand pair him with the second female it worked 45 seconds in and they were and they were latched onto each other so they are they're latched right now so that's a good thing and I will guess I guess I will update you my fr the first female the one that has already made it and let go is um is in the next step which is to put her in a in a brown paper bag I'll explain that in my next video about why I do that because it does sound a little bit extreme when you first hear it but i will explain that to you guys in my next episode which i'll probably film tonight um but yeah she's in a round paper bag laying eggs to this evening or the next evening um i will let her go and we will get to continue the cycle now so i will take you through the process of raising them egg to adult so stay tuned guys if you haven't already make sure you like this video leave a comment on any more video suggestions that you have anything from how to Anything from a growing guide to a certain plant that you have to to a tutorial that you need or just a video to keep you guys entertained. Anything that you want me to do, um, I will take into account and write down on my list. Hopefully, I'll be able to get back to you either with a response comment if you have questions or feedback to make my videos better. Or if you have a suggestion for a new video, I will hopefully... Um, have the materials to do it but i will i take your guys suggestions to heart make sure that i i put those in my list of things to do so definitely make sure you leave your your comments down in the comment section below and if you haven't already subscribe to my channel for more updates because we've got some really cool stuff coming up here with these giant moths and the butterflies too because the weather's warm enough that i see them flying around so lots of good stuff coming up make sure you subscribe bye guys